the sofa back there. I don't want to stay. Go on, you have a, take a seat. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. There is an Alfie sleeping on the bed. Are you enjoying that? Is that comfy? Alright. It actually is pretty comfy because it's a sofa bed isn't it? Yeah. Today I wanted to do a haul video because I have, I, have, I was going to say I haven't done one of these in a while, clearly I have, I do them all the time, but um, I haven't had a bit of a drugstore, what's the word, you know sometimes when I go a bit crazy in a shop, what would you call that? Shopping splurge. Yeah, splurge, that's the one, or like a haul, <laughs> or um, me and Louise. Me shopping spree. Shopping spree. Or me and Louise sometimes call it a rally round where you just go around and you're like, this looks amazing, this looks amazing, this looks amazing. And I hadn't done that in um, a drugstore or high street store, i.e. Superdrug or Boots, in a really, really long time. Since you know that I'm loving dark lips at the moment, a lot of the stuff in this haul is kind of like a dark purple colour, um, whether that's for lips or nails or eyes. Um, so I'm going to get started. The first place I went to was the Sleek Counter. I hadn't been to this counter in so long and their blushes are one of my all-time favourites. The formulation is amazing, they blend really well and they have a really good colour selection. Um, and I love these which are the Blush by 3s. Um, I picked this one up which is slightly darker tones and it's in the colour Sugar. I shall get it out for you. I just liked this because the tones in this are quite autumnal and um, a lot more dark and deep and wintry and I don't have a lot of colours like this at the moment in my makeup collection so I really liked those. The other one I picked up is called Pumpkin um, and this is slightly more orangey toned blushes and a lot more bright but I really love these colours, I think they are super pretty. I especially love this one which is kind of an orangey red. Um, I think that would look really nice around this time of year and of course a lovely flushed pink almost like you've been outside in the cold. The next counter I went to was Bourgeois and I noticed they had some of these. Now I don't know if these are new additions to the range or not but they looked really cool. This is the Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet um, in a matte finish. I think they're like a liquid lipstick basically and it's in um, Grand Cru 08 and it's a really pretty deep red, like super deep red. Um, I love dark toned reds, I always have and I just think that it's the sort of red that really suits me. The other thing I had a little look at were their 24 hour colour edition cream to powder texture ultra luminous finish. I think these are for your eyes. I'm assuming so. They don't actually say oh, <laughs> ah! Can you not? Alright, I'm going to see it now. The two colours I picked up are um, Prune Nocturne which is a beautiful kind of deep uh, purpley maroon colour which actually looks like it has a hint of gold running through it which is very very pretty. And I also picked up this one which is Petal de Glace um, and it's just a really pretty kind of rose gold pinky shimmery shade. Um, I love cream um, to powder eyeshadows. I think they're so super easy to apply and if I'm in a rush and I think I can't be bothered to do the whole like darker colour in the crease, lighter colour in the rest of the eyelid then I will use these and I'll simply just blend them out with a fluffy blending brush and you're pretty much good to go. Also from Bourgeois, I picked up this nail polish, which is beautiful. Um, I'm not normally one for a kind of sparkly nail polish or anything with a bit of shimmer in it. I quite like um, just plain kind of colours, but this is so pretty. It's the One Second Gel Polish. Um, I love the applicator for this. It's kind of square, which makes it actually a lot easier to apply to nails. So I really like that. And it is, uh, it says one second. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I don't really think it dries in a second. I don't know if that's because I apply it too thick. Obviously you are supposed to apply nail polish in very thin layers and build it up, but sometimes I don't have the patience for that. So I just like slob it on and then it, chips and smudges um, but it does dry quite quickly on the subject of nails I also had a little look in the Essie counter I love Essie polishes they're probably one of my favorites and they had a really nice new collection out I don't remember what it was called but they had some really lovely colors and these are two of them so the first one I picked up is this kind of taupey kind of mauve color or mauve mauve 
How do they say it in America? Mauve. I think that's how they say it in America. Mauve. Mauve. Um, in number 333, which is Take It Outside, um, this is a really, really pretty colour, although I'm not sure this is going to go well with my skin tone. Sometimes colours like this can make my skin look a bit dead, so we shall soon see how that comes off on my nails, but it looks really pretty in the bottle. The next one I've got is a really dark kind of forest green, and it is called The Perfect Cover Up. This is just amazing i love this shade so much i'm actually going to paint my nails with this when i come off of camera after filming this video and i just really like it and then because all the nail stuff is next to each other i then went to the elegant touch and i featured some of these in my favorites video previously because i just find these so super easy if you've got a meeting or you're doing a shoot or you need to run out the door or a party even a christmas party and you've not done your nails and you don't have time for them to dry this is like the perfect kind of alternative to that. Um, so Elegant Touch have so many different colours and shades. Every time I go there, there's new ones out and I get very excited. So these are matte grey. I love them so much. They are called Grey Days um, in 332. And I also got these ones, which are kind of purple ombre, which is just so cool, I think, for nails. And these are also matte and they are called Merlot. Also in my October favourites, I featured one of these. It is the Revlon Colour Stay Moisture Stain, which is kind of like a cross between a lip stain and a lip gloss. Um, they're really highly pigmented and really easy to apply and last a really long time. Um, and I loved the colour I had. It's like a dark purple colour. So I went back and I picked up a really pretty kind of Barbie pink. And this is in the colour... LA exclusive um, and it's just really pretty but I just wanted to have another one of those because I really liked it so I'm extending my colour range for those. Back to sleek, I missed off two of the items that were in the pile. Um, I have been wearing a lot more um, dark lips recently and I have also been lining my lips a lot more. Since I met Gabby who told me that she never wears lipstick without lining her lips I have started to do it and noticed a bit more of a difference and also much better staying power with anything that you have on your lips. And also it's just so much easier to fill in, especially when you're using a really dark colour or a red. Um, so I wanted to get a lip liner that kind of matched up to some of the tones of my lipsticks. And Sleek have an amazing range of lip liner colours. Um, so they have one in a really dark purple. And this is the colour Raisin. Um, this is perfect basically for any purple toned lipstick so I really like that. And this is also berry toned but a lot lighter and this would also be really nice to line your lips if you're wearing a little bit more of a natural lipstick colour. And this is in the shade Dragon Fruit. Oh I like the name of that. Dragon Fruit is an actual fruit isn't it? Have you ever tried it? Isn't it that big spiky one? Kind of like a mango. Like a star when you cut into it. Does it look like a star? Dragon fruit? I think it's got loads of like, it looks like an orange inside. Ah. Would it be like a star? What's but the you, one where you cut into, into it before. and it looks like a star? No, it's in like They're the shape. probably the same one. I don't know. Let me know if you've ever tried dragon fruit. I have. Have you? Yeah. Was it nice? It was alright. Huh. I haven't eaten it on the regular, but I tried it. <laughs> we definitely don't have any of those in the fruit bowl. <laughs> me and Alfie have got matching pug slippers. Why oh, have you got yours on? <laughs> yeah. Pugs don't go. Pugs don't go. What? Wait, they're not pigs either. Pretty You're really good at pug noises. No. Oh my god. What? I was thinking of guinea pigs. That's why I was like, pugs don't go. What? I was thinking of guinea pigs. I was thinking of you going. I'm not even going to try your guinea pig noise. I thought I had guinea pig slippers on. I'm so confused. <laughs> Guys, it's finally time for us to show you our brand new pug. Are you ready? Oh, look! <laughs> there we go! Oh, it's so cute! It's actually my leg. <laughs> Ow, that really hurt. I'm not flexible in the slightest. So I mentioned a while back how much I loved the Soap & Glory eyebrow felt tip and uh, since then, I've not been able to find it 
anywhere. It's always sold out in my local boot store, so I had to go on the hunt for something else. And in Superdrug, Isla, Isla, the, the company that makes eyelashes, have loads of brow stuff. They've got brow powders, brow gels, and brow pencils, and brow ink. So this pleased me immensely. They also had loads in my colour. So this is number 20 mid brown and it says double ended soft tip brow liner for intense and even colour. So I think this has, okay so it has a really thin precise nib on one side and then a slightly fuller one, kind of like a calligraphy pen that you might have used in school. Did you ever have those when they try and taught you how to do really neat handwriting and you'd use the a green one? Yeah, the green yeah, calligraphy pen. I was so pen. bad, I wanted to be good. I'm a huge fan of felt tips for filling in eyebrows, which sounds kind of scary. If you do it with a really light hand and you do tiny little strokes of hair, it can look really, really natural. Don't go trying to fill it in like you're doing like a, what's it called? A paint by numbers. Colouring in book. A colouring in book. The last place I went, which was not Boots or Superdrug, was Topshop, because I always forget that Topshop have a makeup range. That noise was me slapping my thigh, by the way. <laughs> um, so I went in there and I picked up a few bits. I got a lip liner. This is in kind of like a berry toned red. Um, so slightly different from the other colors that I have, but also I feel like would come in very useful. Um, and it is called Deception, so I really like that. I also picked up this lipstick, which is in a really nice like black bullet. And it's called Twin. And oh my goodness, it's a dark berry purple shade. I bet you didn't see that coming. Did you see that coming, Alfie? I haven't, heard you. I haven't heard you say the word berry yet. No. I then bought some lip bullets. I've already used this, it's very nice. It is in the shade... Berry! No, more than a woman actually. And just to be a bit different, I also got an orange toned nude. I love orange toned nudes. In the summer I love wearing them constantly. I just find that orange toned nudes really suit my skin tone and so I picked one up because I don't have one. I used to have a lipstick from Topshop that was called, I think it was Dessert, but this is the closest I could find to it so it's kind of a corally nude shade and it is in the colour Covert so I'm really excited to use that. And that is everything I picked up on my shopping spree slash rally round. Um, I also apologise if you can hear the rain and I apologise for my sleeping boyfriend, uh, Alfie Days, uh, who just made a little cameo in this video. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, Alfie? Have you actually fallen asleep? Alfie! <laughs> farewell farewell from Alfie Days farewell from me and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next week for something a lot more festive give the video a thumbs up oh yeah give it a pug up give the video a pug up bye you're really weird <laughs> you're really weird name that film bye